As many of you may already know, Europe has officially made memes illegal. All memes, for any reason, totally illegal. It is a 10-year mandatory prison. I'm just kidding. Uh, they passed Article 13, which can effectively make memes illegal because of copyright restrictions. A lot of people are freaking out, rightly so, but let's, let's, let's talk about this. I've got a few points to make, and I'm going to be a bit... I'm going to insult somebody while we're here. This is a story from The Independent. European Union. Internet users creatively fight back against a new law which bans memes. The Independent is reporting that the new law literally bans memes. Memes have been made illegal, people. So I want to point out right here, because at the top of this article, this guy right here, I believe this man is should not be doing whatever he's doing because I don't believe he has the, the, the capacity in his mind. I don't believe he has the cognitive ability to actually serve whatever role he's doing there. I believe for his safety and for the safety of others, he should be removed from this position. I'm trying to kind of be a dick while not being a dick at the same time because there's another story where apparently this guy, he's seen cheering for Article 13 and then someone apparently asked him about an amendment and he was like, oh, I actually don't know what's in it. So this, this guy... We'll, we'll, we'll get to uh, ragging on this guy in a minute. On Thursday, meme culture was dealt a potentially, potentially devastating blow by the European Parliament. MEPs have approved Articles 11 and 13, which means that all technology platforms must check that anything people share does not violate copyright infringement. That's literally impossible to do. The only thing you can do is ban everything. The only thing you can do is gatekeep literally everything and hire human beings to approve it. This, like, okay, if, if they have to check for copyrights, you can't automate that. You literally, you, if, if you automate it, you err on the side of just ban most things and sort it out later. YouTube kind of does this. But there's a process where if you, uh, if you uh, dispute the copyright, the video you made on YouTube will remain on YouTube in dispute until it's, until it's cleared up. Assuming because of this law, they can't actually post things that violate copyright, this is basically going to mean like user-generated content, gone. Memes, gone. I don't know, yeah, we'll, we'll keep reading. This means, for instance, that screen grabs from films or TV shows and, illeg uh, and illegally uploaded music, which is then posted to Facebook or Twitter, would break the law. But screen grabs can be fair use, and I'm pretty sure Europe has fair use laws. The U.S., we do. You know, so me showing you this article and commenting on it, this is fair use. Because I am criticizing and commenting on the story and the, you know, the story within it. It's also fair use under uh, public need to know, and it's a couple other provisions. It's not definitive. Uh... Technically, what I'm doing is copyright infringement, but I have an exemption because it's news and I'm commenting on it. In turn, this means you can kiss your sweet meme culture goodbye as the new legislation would render, render them virtually meaningless. Yes, many memes are screen grabs. On Twitter, Julia Reed, who is a Pirate Party MEP, explained exactly what Articles 11 and 13 will do, in, which includes a link tax and upload filter. Check this out. Link rejected proposal. Links are allowed to contain individual words of the article. She says, catastrophic Article 11 vote. The European Parliament just endorsed a link tax that would make using the title of a news article in a link to, to it, a link to it, this is, hold on. The European Parliament just endorsed a link tax that would make using the title of a news article in a link to it require a license. Let's see, we got upload filters. The European Parliament endorses upload filters for all but the smallest sites and apps. Anything you want to publish will need to first be approved by these filters. Perfectly legal content like parodies and memes will be caught in the crosshairs. Yep, end of story. Siada L. Ramley, Director General of Edema, the trade association representing the online platforms, added, Today, MEPs have decided to support the filtering of the internet to the benefit of big businesses in the music and publishing industries, despite huge public outcry. We hope that governments of the EU will hear their citizens' concern in the next stage of negotiations. I got, let me, okay. You want to start a revolution. It doesn't matter if Donald Trump is president. Donald Trump becomes president, a bunch of people freak out, they're angry. Okay, no revolution. Hillary Clinton becomes president, a lot of people are angry, probably a lot less protests, but people are still angry. No revolution. You want to know what would start a revolution? Banning memes. Because what you've done now is you've triggered the normies, all right? The people who go on Reddit, the people who go on 9gag, the people who have no idea what's going on, they're browsing Facebook and they see a meme, are now being told that their memes are illegal. And now you've got the normies saying, WTF, mate. It's the last thing you want to do. The big risk for something like the EU is you want to prevent Brexit? You want to prevent other countries from leaving EU? Well, you can't trigger normies. And you've just done that. 
Predictably, folks on Twitter have been reacting with a level-headed approach to the news. That's not true. I will defeat the EU, says one person. Watching watching memes in EU under new law, they was in incognito mode. Yeah, that's not actually how it works. The European Union has banned memes. I was a Remainer, but now I want to. I want a hard Brexit. You know, this is actually interesting. A lot of I've seen a lot of comments from people. People have emailed me and said that they were Remain, Remainers. They didn't want Britain to leave the European Union, but now with Article 13, they they're they're glad Brexit is happening. It's crazy, and I wonder if they did another vote today if pe more people would support Brexit because of Article 13. So here we have, uh, however, the ever resilient internet is finding ways around this legislation by yes, you guessed it, making more memes, this time with a creative way of avoiding any copyright laws. So I don't, you, you probably know the Drake meme where he's like this and then like this. They just wrote it out. A picture of Drake looking away and holding his hand up. He clearly doesn't like what's going on giving up on life after EU bans, bans memes. A picture of Drake pointing as to say, hey, I like this, finding a workaround. This is funny. No one's gonna make memes like this. EU gets owned by smart citizen. When you live in Germany and the EU bans memes, but remember you live just 20 minutes away from Switzerland and can upload memes from there. My favorite Article 13 meme is actually this, uh, Article 13, let me shrink this, so. Article 13 compliant frog. We all know what that meme is. And uh, I, I genuinely believe this is the best. But here's a, here's the thing too. You want to talk about workarounds? Yeah, easy enough. You could kind of just redraw a lot of memes, kind of like this. And now all of a sudden, Pepe has become compliant. Not only that, you could actually just alter Pepe in a slightly different way, kind of like what they did, but a little bit better than what they did. And you've got a workaround. But now, let's rag on the idiots who supported Article 13. So this this uh, website is. Too big. I hate when websites do this. The man behind the EU's copyright law is surprised by what's in the proposal. Look at this photo. This guy's cheering as people clap. This guy has no idea what's going on. He, look, he's, he's, I always try to be, avoid being disrespectful, but if you don't know what's in what you're signing, you got to be as dumb as a box of rocks, all right? A dumb as a box of socks. The European Union Parliament on September 12th, voted to approve new copyright laws that will transform how people in Europe and beyond use and profit from the internet. But even the man behind the legislation, Alex, Axel Voss, was apparently unaware of what exactly he voted for. Wow, you must be a really smart person to be like, yay, I did. Look, it's one thing. In the United States, we have this problem too. People in Congress and the Senate vote for things, they can't read the bill because it's too quick or maybe, maybe they're lazy, whatever the reason. But this is a guy who is cheering He's, he's become a meme himself because of how happy he is. But I gotta, I gotta say, if you're gonna cheer for something and you don't know what you're cheering for, you're pretty dumb. <laughs> That's the best I can put it. Emmanuel Carlsten, a reporter for Sweden's Break It News site, spoke with Voss, a member of the European Parliament, and the EU's copyright reporter, rap, rapporteur, after the vote. Carlsten asked about a last minute amendment that will bar the filming of sports events. The MEP replied in a recorded conversation, this was kind of a mistake, I think, by the jury committee. Someone amended this. No one had been aware of this. Really. European Parliament Press Officer John Schranz at that point broke in to explain that he was aware of the provision in question, calling it Amendment 76. Schranz said that the amendment doesn't bar individuals from filming sporting events. Rather, the main target is online betting companies enticing viewers to their sites with videos that they have no right to film. He objected to the fact that the Greens and others interpret the provision as having a much wider application. But the MEP Voss admitted, I didn't know that this was in the proposal so far. So of course I have to deal with it now. I do not consider that, com that the commission and council will have this inside the proposal. Voss added that because of the time pressure and general focus on other more notable aspects of the law, it's possible that the measure was insufficiently scrutinized but he reassured Carlston that MEPs will be meeting again to go over the law in its entirety. Of course, we have to discuss this, he said in a provision in question. This is the man who is seen in a photo, cheering all happy and excited, and he didn't even know this was in it. Now, don't get me wrong, this same thing happens in the US. There are bills that are massive, that are slammed on the desk of politicians, and they're told to vote yes or no on it without even being, they don't even get a chance to read it. It's not just unique to the EU, but I would say, and this goes for any politician. If you're going to cheer and, and fist pump because you've you got a great victory and you don't actually know what you're cheering for, I think you may have made a big mistake. And now you're gonna see a lot of articles. They're gonna be ragging on people like this. This guy is, is, is in for a world of online hurt, okay? You've united people 
of, of all tribes, because you're trying to ban memes, because everyone bans memes, or I'm sorry, because everyone loves memes, okay? You ban them, you get normies angry. But I will also say, I am a, a bit concerned for this guy's safety because he's become such a face of Article 13, and people on the internet can be very mean. Swatting happens regularly, and sometimes to people who are nobodies who did nothing. I don't know, I, I actually, I don't know if there's any, ever been a swatting in Europe, I don't know how that works. But now we've got a guy who is becoming the face of, of Article 13, who's cheering for it when everyone's mad about it. And I gotta say, it's probably not a good thing for this here fella. Now look, Article 13 is rather complicated, but I will add one final thought. Mesh networks will emerge, work, ar work arounds will emerge. All they've done, okay, let me explain this. If you've got millions, hundreds of millions of people who use the internet, and you pop up and say, hey, guess what? We're gonna actually stifle to an extreme degree what you do, people will create something outside of your control. Prohibition didn't work in the US. People kept sharing, look, they made alcohol illegal, people still got alcohol. You think you're gonna ban memes and filter the internet and it's gonna work? It's not gonna work. People are gonna find a workaround. All you've done is ceded control away, right? So what, what, when you pass laws like this, you're effectively saying, we want such control that most people will do everything they can to avoid our system and find their own ways to work outside of our control. The best thing you can do is compromise, create something that's not gonna make memes illegal or whatever, and then still implement some kind of tax, right? They're doing the tax, but the upload filter is gonna really just screw everything up. Anyway, stick around, I got another video coming up in just a few minutes.